when you hear about jelly printing, finished monoprints or collage paper might come to mind. But I want to try something different, creating inspiration in my sketchbook. Let's try that together. Hi there, I'm Janine. I'm an artist and I share my creative journey on this channel. I have played with a jelly plate a few times before, but I've only used it to print collage papers. I love it for that, but the papers stack up and I can never go through all of them. I usually print on wet strength tissue paper for the collage pieces or marker paper, which holds quite a lot of liquid without buckling. I have been working more and more in my sketchbooks lately and I would love to try out jelly printing for my sketchbook. I also want to see if it maybe gives me some ideas for using it on larger work. This is the gel press I'm using. I'll link it down below. Then I've also got this acrylic retarder medium, which delays the drying time, which could be quite useful for printing, but I might not use it because I'm working in my sketchbook, so I do want it to dry fairly quickly. And then these are just some uh, colours I've pre-mixed a long time ago, so I can't, don't remember what colours are in there exactly. But this is like a brownie green and a light green colour. And then that's a beige that's quite similar to a buff titanium. And I think this is just pure raw sienna. And I've also got some white in case I want to lighten things. And this sketchbook that I'm going to start off with is um, a Royal Talons art creation one in A4 size. It takes a lot of uh, media. If you look at the paper's quite thin, you could use quite a lot of wet media on it. This is a really interesting effect. I like to see them better. Put this aside to dry for a bit. This is the this is the same sketchbook in the art creation, but in half the size. I'm going to try and get over both pages. a few of these actually. I really like this um, strip that I left in the middle. I might also try some loose sheets. If you've seen a recent video where I change up my sketchbook practice, you'll know that I also want to try using loose sheets of paper that I will then just bind into a sketchbook after. Ooh. I really like that. And dry. The thing about using a jelly plate is you need to have a lot of pieces on the go or wait forever for them to dry for them to dry. I don't really have any aim of what I'm doing or a plan. I'm just as per usual doing what I feel like doing in the moment. Funny that it always leaves these bits where the paper buckles. I did press quite a bit. This is another one with the same sketchbook. Then I'll switch up the colours a bit. And maybe start doing some sort of pattern on here. It's probably going to pick up what's underneath as well. So I'll try this um, colour shape that I've really been liking. I never want to waste what's on 
So I was trying to scrape it off again. Excuse me, one of these. Actually, I really like these already. I like them all, that's the problem. I'll uh, use this one. It's just an experiment. So I'm doing it in my sketchbook so I don't feel precious about them. I'll mix in a little bit of the... But actually, I'm a little bit, a little bit of white. I would really like to try this on a large canvas or something to add sections to it. I like how you always get a preview through the jelly plate and then it still looks nothing like it when you take it off. Like this I really like. I actually take a picture of it in case it doesn't look like that. I really like the colour combinations of the yellow glazed over the other colours. Yeah, that looks very different. Put it under the plate, but it's quite interesting. I think I'll leave this to dry. Maybe work on some sheets, loose sheets in the meantime. I'll just leave this as it is. Oh, touched it. Try and put this over top of this one. Whenever I've previously used my jelly plate, I've just done it on collage paper. So for example, um, tissue paper, things like that. So I have a stack full of those pieces of collage and I don't use a lot of collage. So I thought this would be a better idea, a better way of experimenting with the jelly plate and then actually have it as a reference. Interesting. I think this still needs a little bit more. I do really like the textures. If you've been following me for a while, you will know that I very much like textures and I keep on mentioning it. It's drying now. I keep on getting my paint, my books caught with this last. I have one more of the books. I mean, I have a few other sketchbooks that I can use. I might use some loose sheets. A bit. Let's start with this. I like the way the colours blend in here. Hmm. I thought it would pick up some of the square underneath, but it didn't. I might also just use some loose copy paper for the loose sketchbook sheets. Because this is the watercolour paper. I don't really need it to be watercolour paper, so I might use some cheaper paper. So this is just standard copy paper. I think it might be 100 grams instead of 80 grams. So it's slightly thicker than normal. Any everyday standard copy paper. The only problem is I'm running out of drying space. Mm, that's interesting. I'm just gonna tend to the baby. Give me a minute. The baby noises in the background is the baby with the rattle. Actually, I might try this again over this here because this has got a line again, and I really like that line. I've now somehow got on rid of. Yes, it did create a line. Did it? Yeah. Very gentle. I like that. Just leave that. I could also use a brayer, which is what I usually use. Or I might um, use this catalyst, which is good for the dark again. Ooh, it's quite interesting, these little blobs. And I've touched the paint again, and uh, yeah, that's how it gets everywhere. I'll 
Let's try a lighter colour. Just mix all of these colours together. Oh, this could be interesting actually. A bit like one of those fake marble effects. I'll leave that edge. I like that. Sorry, I'm not really seeing because I don't really like that. Like how the little bits here coming through. I think copy paper is the way to go because I could just go on like this forever and I don't need it to be on good paper. It's not that wet so it's not really buckling. Mm. That's lovely. So it's got the white on here. Add a bit of this colour. Use the water again. You can see it just pearls. It doesn't actually stay, but it might give an interesting effect. You never know. Let's try it on the same. No. Just mushed. How about this though? It's like it's raindrops. The baby's trying to crawl in the background. Which is getting frustrated. Right, let's finally try this sprayer. here. The difficult thing with the brayer is to clean it again after. But it does make a much smoother, more even surface than using a brush. Still again and get with the ones I don't like. I'll make some marks in here. So, um, you can use all sorts of things to draw or print into the jelly plate, but uh, don't use any sharp objects like a metal palette knife or something like that because it might scrape, might score the jelly. It's a little bit delicate. a slightly lighter color of this. Add a little bit of beige just to make it not pure white. And then I want to add some more. Let's use the um, this fork. Add some stripes. And I've intentionally moved down a bit so it's not 100% aligned with the previous print. Mmm, that's lovely. I like that it's not aligned. It's really nice. I'll mix some of dark green and the yellowy raw sienna. Let's go, for the, let's go for the brayer again. It's actually quite interesting. I'll try it again on this. It's got so many layers on by now. Oh. 
have to do it kind of sideways because the baby's in the sling and wants to see what I'm doing. If anybody's got some good tips on how to clean a brayer, do let me know in the comments below. Bits of this previous one. And this is a lot of fun. You could, I could spend it all day doing this. Let's do one more. Oh, I was hoping that this would come off by now. Let's see if it comes off with it. Just do this. Let's try again. Quite this would be very nice to get actually. Then I want to do one with I do a pattern in. Do you take a long time to draw patterns into the paint, then you're probably better off adding some of the retarder so it stays wet for longer. That's it super subtle, especially because it's almost the same page as the, or the same colour as the page. I think I'm going to introduce a different colour. I'm a little bit bored of these colours now. Here's an orangey brown colour that, again, I mixed a long time ago. I don't actually notice this is still... Do a bit of water in there. like a burnt sienna. It's quite transparent. Oh, I really like that. I love the little gaps in here and the soft edges. And I'm going to do it, put this print on top of that. If you like this video, consider subscribing. I might do one where I put a pattern in. I use this fork again. I've done this kind of pattern before and I made a collage piece I really liked, which I then used in my last uh, series. Again, these go really nicely together. It's quite similar. Maybe too similar. I think it was too much because I was hoping it would mix with the brown a bit better. Then I want to choose this cork to put some little dots on here. Yeah, that pretty much obliterated the other one. Let's put this on top of that. I 
I'll try having a corner, or maybe one side in this. Makes really nice soft edges, and I do like a soft edge. Mm. The thing is that obviously what was on top here is going to be underneath here. So I don't see it as much, but it's still quite nice. Might do that again with the... Let's see if that works. Another layer of that. Put it on top. Hmm, yeah. That is actually cool. Work quite well. Okay, let's try doing something similar. Put some red here. Hmm, that's quite interesting. On the plate. Let's see what it looks like on paper. It's quite tricky to move the plate. Oh, that's really interesting with the lines here. Probably won't look like that when I take it off. Oh, it does! Wow, I really like that. Let me just do the other side. Will ghost print? There isn't really much there, maybe I won't. Wow. Really like that. To me, that's a beautiful page, these two together. Right, since I enjoyed that, I'll try some more. Still quite wet, which is why it buckles more. If they're properly dry, then they don't buckle as much. They've almost got like a Rothko quality to them, even the colors. Now, another thing I really wanted to try was to just use small squares or rectangles, it depends, and kind of patchwork them because I wanted to kind of mimic what using this plate would look like on a larger piece, like maybe on a canvas. I've got some sort of background, because you know I love layering. It's different to how I expected, I really like it. It's good if you still have something underneath, because then it picks it up like it did here. And then you don't have a, just a plain square. Even though you just used one colour. I can't tell you how much fun it is using a jelly plate. You have to try it. Let's do some yellow. People are calling it yellow. I mean, it is yellow. But it's a raw sienna. You wanted a more technical term? Some white. Oopsie. There you go, my trousers. These are now painting trousers. I want a little bit down here. Let's use this. Oh, I made it better. That made it better. Let's do another one. Let's see if I ruin it. Oh. 
just picking up the pieces. Valeu. Put it on top of this. Mm. Now I'll keep that one. Okay, I'll do another full page. I'm guessing it'll pick up some of this, which would be nice. I did some of the things, it's nice. That isn't happening. I might leave that as it is.
I had so much fun doing this, I could spend hours just experimenting. What is most exciting to me, working with a jelly plate, is that it's really hard to predict what happens. And so you get a lot of those happy accidents that I love. I'm really intrigued to try it maybe on larger pieces, which I might try another day. Let me know in the comments how you use jelly plates and maybe if you have any tips. If you want some more ideas for how to fill your sketchbook, I made a video last week where I share six ideas to free your sketchbook practice. You can watch that up here. Thanks and bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>